Namaste. Aloha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Certainly that depends on where in the world you are. My name is Master Paul Fletcher, and it is my honor to be connected to you here on live stream. I've got my computer in front of me in case anybody texts me or I need to place anything online for you guys to check in with. For those that are watching this video on, uh, <coughs> on uh, YouTube or any other source, uh, please know that uh, after the first five minutes things really kick in and all of the, the uh, guidance, wisdom and insights really kick in at that point in time. It's usually the first couple minutes where I have to just kind of uh, give a little extra information while everyone is coming online. So I appreciate your patience with that. Today's focus is going to be on the subject of anger. Um, it falls underneath the category of what is known as the wood element. <clears throat> and so I'll be offering some teaching, some guidance, and possibly some blessing today for this condition. So welcome Yvonne, thank you for joining. Welcome Ari, thank you so much for joining. Uh, very grateful to have both of you here. Um, I'm pretty sure I can be heard, but let me know if, if uh, everything is clear. <clears throat> I will continue to speak up a little bit. Hopefully it's in good shape. And welcome, Johnny. And so um, no, no posting yet, uh, no questions yet. I'm going to offer some teaching first, and then we'll do some posting in a little while. So thank you for that, Yvonne. And then welcome, Kristen. Thank you also for joining me here today. I'm going to move over a little bit because I don't want to block Happy Buddha there. We'll move the camera a little bit, and that way we can have Happy Buddha in there. <coughs> ah, welcome, Tatiana. So today, what we'll be talking about is the power and the significance of the wood element and its association with the emotion of anger. I've been very blessed to have a lot of teachings from Dr. and Master Shah on this subject. And even, uh, even uh, probably once a day, you know, I'll have a little bit of irritation come up that uh, you know, I need to address using the, the skill sets that we're gonna be applying today. So anger always has an originating source. And in Master Shah's teaching on the five elements, there's quite a few. I'm getting a, one of the books prepared here. I'm going to wait till a few more people join before I go over this because I want everyone to make sure they get the most out of this. <clears throat> but there's quite a few um, interesting aspects to anger and its associations. So let us all connect first, heart to heart, soul to soul, while everyone is joining us. You're welcome to uh, do this with me. Placing your hearts in the soul light, your hands in the soul light era, soul service, hand position, which is the left palm facing, uh, left palm over the message center, and the right palm pointed towards heaven gently. Dear beloved, divine, Tao, source, all layers of all committees, up to Master Shah's original soul and the soul of Master Shah. We love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you as appropriate. We ask that you be present with all of us here today. I ask that you borrow my mouth, allow me to speak your words of wisdom, your guidance, wisdom, and insights to serve all those that come live and all those that will watch this video in the future. To the soul of all those that are watching now and all those that will come in the future to watch this. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. And I uh, ask for your forgiveness if I have brought harm to you physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually in this or any lifetime uh, if I have caused you to be angry at me or my ancestors for any of my thoughts, words, or actions, then I, I apologize to you. And uh, let us release these sufferings, these blockages today. Let us move forward in love, peace, and harmony. So we ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, which has been transmitted to all souls in all universes, to turn on. We ask all souls to join with us <clears throat> and to receive this source, soul, song of love, peace, and harmony, to chant with us, to serve others. And we ask it to serve all of us on the line today that we can release any anger and release any anger that we might have held against ourselves in this or any lifetime. So let us chant together. Lula, Lula, Lee. 
lu la lu la la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la wo ai wo xian her ling wo ai chen ren lei Wang Li Rong Her Mu Shi Xiang Song Ai Ping An Her Shi Song Ai Ping An Her Shi I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloha, my yo. Eloha, kako apao. Epihimai Puai kako Aloha Malie lokahi Aloha Malie lokahi Hao, hao, hao Thank you, thank you, thank you that last version of Love, Peace and Harmony was the Hawaiian version. Very beautiful. So I apologize about the internet connection. It seems a little spotty today. Um, one of these days with all my technical knowledge, I hope to be able to figure that out. But we're blessed to have this live stream. And I offer a blessing to the live stream uh, itself, to the, to the internet aspects. Uh, to clear um, anything that might be unhappy with us doing this live stream as appropriate. So welcome, Sandra. Welcome, Crystal. And so grateful to have you here. So let me start by sharing some of the deep wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us. And what I like to do when I share what is from the books, I also um, I like to bring that straight to life so that you can see the direct correlations between the wisdom in the books and how it actually applies directly to us. Now this book, if you don't have it, highly recommend you get it. It's called Tao Song Tao Dance. It's probably one of the um, one of the best books that Master Shah has put out um, in terms of the uh, the healing that's in each of the books. The um, the girth of the wisdom that is very simply stated, uh, it captures the majority of all that he's taught in the previous 10 books in this one book, and it captures it so well. Um, for me, I, I, up until meeting Master Shah, I had never been a big fan of, of dance, um, and song not so much. I mean, I can sing, and <clears throat> but you know, with, with ego and whatnot, prior to moving in and through the processes of becoming more ego free still quite a bit there more to work on but um you know then I, I have no issue with song and dance but when i saw this book and i asked other people they said oh it's about singing and dancing i'm not interested and um so it's one of those future books because what will happen in time is dr and master shaw and his wisdom his uh, insights, which he receives now, is, is ahead of time in so many ways. This book will be so very coveted, not too far in the future, because virtually all healing will be done through song and dance. I asked Master Patricia, who uh, uh, I bow down to her, she's such an amazing, uh, intelligent, wise soul. I asked her, I said, Master Patricia, I said, we've learned this past five, six, seven years, um, you know, to prepare to serve humanity if things get a little difficult. I said, but where do we start? You know, we've learned so many different things. Where do we start? And she said, singing and dancing. That's the solution. And this book hadn't even been released at that point when I asked that question. And I said, okay, why? 
And she said, because everyone's going to be in such emotional turmoil, such mental turmoil, that the one thing that cuts all layers, that, that permeates all blockages, is things that are joyful, things that carry the divine's frequency of love and light naturally, and that would be song and dance. And this is why Master Shah has released consistently everything based in song. And so we're very blessed to have that, and we'll use some of those today for our healing. So I'm going to read to you a few of the bullet points specific to uh, the condition of anger and its associations. Now, in the Eastern philosophies, known as uh, TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, there are five elements. <clears throat> One of the elements is the wood element. The wood element has a yin and a yang organ. There's a body tissue. Uh, all of the elements have this. There are body fluids associated with each of the elements. Senses. There's unbalanced and balanced emotions. There is a finger associated with the wood element. There is taste, color, weather, uh, season, direction, phase, and energy. We're not going to move into all those. We're going to cover the main five. So the liver is called the yin organ. It has a paired organ, or they work together, yin and yang, and that's the gallbladder. The body tissue is tendons and nails. So if you always have tendon issues, not easy to stretch. It's associated with the liver. Um, Tears, the body fluid of tears is associated with the wood element. The sense is eyesight. If the eyes are weak, there's probably an association with the liver. And then the emotion is anger, and the balanced aspect of that is patience. So we call it the wood element because it's one of five major elements, and they each work together. We're not going to go into any major teachings on that today. But when we look at this, the wood element and its associations, when we have anger, one of the aspects of that is it could come from one of the other variables. It could come from the element that leads up to the wood element, which is the water element, fear. And so the five elements work in correlation, one behind the other, and they impact each other. Wood is a generator. It feeds fire. Fire is the uh, uh, fire element, which includes the heart. And so all the organs connect together, and the emotions potentially could connect together. Okay, so still back. So welcome, Kristen. Welcome, C. John. Welcome, Amy. Welcome, Kat. Thank you all for joining. So the wood element. Those who drink. There's a gentleman that I'm doing healing for right now. And... I did a blessing for his knee. He has a great deal of a lack of flexibility. And as I got to know him, I've known him for about a week and a half now and communicating with him almost daily, one of the things that has came up quite a bit is the lack of flexibility in his behind his leg and that he uh, quit drinking about um, seven months ago. So he'd been an alcoholic for 40 years. What is the wood element condition? What element condition is tendons. So his tendons are very, very restricted in the back of his knee. So a blessing for the wood element for him would have a huge benefit. Now also in discussing with him, he had major anger issues and these have impacted his relationship dramatically. It's amazing that his wife stuck around. So welcome Pat, thank you for joining. <coughs> uh, Amy, welcome. And so when we look at what is the associations that bring about the condition of anger, we want to look at those external aspects. If we drink a lot of alcohol, it can cause anger. If we're anger, it could cause us to be alcoholic. All of these impact the liver, which is a direct association. So now we want to look at what's the fastest way to bring healing and balance to these things. We have to start with the human level first. At the human level, we're in the, the condition of anger. When we're in it, usually it's a bit late, we're in it. We can try to supersede it through awareness. I'm waiting for the computer to catch up. I can see it's fading a bit. 
we can try to supersede it through awareness. And how we do that is with practice. We have to actually see it coming in advance, and we want to use the song and the dance to transform it. We have to see it coming. If, if it's necessary, then we need to leave the, the place we're at when anger comes. Almost always, it's, um, I'd say about half the time, it's someone else that creates the trigger that is already in us. We want to blame them, but it's always us. And so if that someone else is the one that instigates the trigger that is already in us, better to not go into that anger right away. Better to leave the room and then do your part in quelling it. Master Shah taught some early wisdom, and you may, maybe the first time you've heard this, one of the things he says is, when we have an anger or an anger exchange, we are literally giving our virtue to that soul. Virtue is flying out of our virtue bank, good karma is flying away from us, and it's going to the other person. Master Shah talks about, uh, on one of, the, uh, one of the events he was at, they were in a public venue and he was uh, in a pu public arena where other people were at and somebody was quite upset that he was communicating to the other people in this public arena and so they gave him a tongue lashing and so he just sat there and received it with a smile and he said please forgive me I'm sorry multiple times he said this and the man just went off he had major major anger rage so after the man completed Master Shah you know Please forgive me, sir. I'll, I'll be more, more honoring of, of you know, the space that you're in. And he gave us another teaching. He said, you know, he had one of the divine channels. How much virtue did this man lose? And because he released the anger. So don't lose your virtue is the message. If, if someone else triggers it, leave the space. Welcome, Nicole. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, Mylana. Thank you for joining us. So that's the first thing. Now, if an event happens, you're online, um, you're by yourself, and something um, that is external to you or a thought triggers the anger, then you have the opportunity to control it a little bit better in that moment. The first aspect of that is identification. You must identify it, if possible, before the anger arrives or as it arrives. Disassociate from it as quickly as possible. Move to another room or uh, stop it and identify it. When it's there, uh, what's worked best for me based on the teachings of Dr. Master Shah is love, peace, and harmony. I highly recommend it. It takes practice. You'll have to stop and go, okay, I'm really irritated right now. What can I do? I'm just going to chant love, peace, and harmony. But I found that if I do that, it usually dissolves pretty fast, two to three minutes, maybe five minutes at best. If I re-enter the room, let's say it's another individual and I'm still fired up a bit, and then I, I won't re-enter the room. I'll, I'll, I'll see that there's still some purification to occur. Go back to chanting some more. But once you bring it down, that's where you want to apply um, the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us. The first part of that is forgiveness. Okay? How can we apply forgiveness to somebody else when we feel that they have victimized us and we are the victim? Uh, I'll, use, I'll use my relationship as an example. Um, in my relationship, the, there is not an, uh, an, an, uh, what I would call a, a well-balanced communication structure because the culture that my wife is from is a silence-based culture. So there's, it's not communicative. And therefore, things build up. What might cause a little bit of irritation is not spoken of. And then, it, then it, and then it adds, and then it adds, and then it adds. This is pretty much common for most of us. We tend to not speak our thoughts, partially because maybe we've tried it before and it didn't work. That's usually what happens. We try to share our emotion, our frustration, our irritation. And we were rebuffed, we were minimized, we were not validated. So this creates an internal resistance in which we hold it in. Then it builds up, builds up, builds up, and we explode. So with that being a relatively common occurrence for virtually anyone, unless you're in a really healthy set of, uh, unless you're with somebody that you can communicate with well, including yourself, because sometimes it's events where no one really cares or they don't know how to address it. An example would be, um, the boss, the boss doesn't really care, 
you can't really address your irritation with the boss. And you go home and you speak to your husband or your wife and they don't know how to deal with it and they just try to give you a solution. That doesn't make you feel better, it just rebuffs you. And so now you're still by yourself and you still have the irritation. There's your anger right there. So this kind of example it, it runs throughout all of our lives in its own variations. We'll use the boss as one example of it. So when we find us, ourselves, by ourselves, with um, an irritation that we're unable to resolve externally, we have to use these tools. What are the tools? Forgiveness, love, self-forgiveness, self-love. Okay? When we use forgiveness outside of us, that's forgiveness and love outside of us. Self-love and self-forgiveness is inside of us. Sometimes it's easier to do self-love and self-forgiveness first before we can offer it outside of us. It helps soften us up. So you would do that the same way you would do any forgiveness practice. Dear the soul of myself, all of my emotions of this anger, this irritation I have towards boss, towards daughter, towards sister, towards mother, father, whoever it is, to the soul of this irritation, this emotion, please forgive me. I forgive myself for having this constant irritation. I forgive myself for not honoring and validating where I was at and not being able to release this in a good, healthy, and balanced way. Dear God, dear Master Shah, dear Tao, dear Source, can you please help me to release this blockage in the best way possible? And so this is where you employ the extra healing tools that we received. Now in the Tao Song Tao Dance book, Master Shah has some chants in here. The area for the, uh, the liver is known as Jiao, J-I-A-O, Jiao. That's the sound power. Remember, we have the four powers, body power, we place our hand on our liver. Your liver, by the way, is under your left rib cage. So it's the lower part of your rib cage, and you would place one of your hands there. Doesn't matter which hand. And the other hand you would place just below your belly button. This is your body power. So go ahead and do that. The sound power is Jiao, Jiao. But we're going to chant Jiao Ya Yo Dao. Jiao represents the entirety of the wood element, which clears the blockages and all of its associations, including the anger. Because remember, at the beginning I explained, the eyes, the ligaments, alcoholism, the liver suffering itself, maybe it's hepatitis A, B, or C. These impact the liver, which could bring out more anger. So when we work with the wood element, we're impacting all of these synergistically. We're impacting all of these as a whole. So when you chant Jiao Ya Yo Dao, you're bringing a very high frequency of the Dao into this area to transform the blockages much, much faster. That's why we do this. So to, to start from the beginning, we identify the, the suffering. We remove ourselves from it as quickly as possible so that we don't let it elevate. If, if we're by ourselves, we catch it. If we're in it, we stop. Maybe chant love, peace, and harmony for a moment to ground ourselves. Then, forgiveness and self-love. Dear the soul of myself, I love me. I forgive myself for having this emotional reaction of anger and frustration, irritation, da 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 da, whatever it is. I know that's not the healthiest and best choice for me. Please assist me to forgive myself. I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. And then you would chant. Now, if you cannot remember this Jiao Ya Yo Dao, if you don't have this book, don't square your head. Master Shah says, divine flexibility. The Tao is very flexible. Following the Tao means being flexible to accomplish what needs to be accomplished with the greatest ease. I'm, I'm sure I'm seeing a weak signal so I'm waiting for it to re-catch. Okay. So what does that mean? If you don't have the book, if you can't remember the uh, words Jiao Ya Yo Dao, grab any book if you have it. Put Master Shah's photograph 
on the area of blockage. You could chant Master Shah's name. You could chant divine love or divine forgiveness. There is not a specific protocol. Too many students square their head, oh, it has to be exact, exact, exact. Wrong, wrong already. Connection is the key. Depth of forgiveness, depth of love is the key. Surrounding yourself with the healing power that's in the books is what's going to create the results, not the exactness of the words. So don't, don't do yourself the disservice of, um, uh, of not doing it because you don't have the exact, exact, exact everything. Okay? All right. So body power, one hand on the lower abdomen, one hand on the liver. Sound power, jiao, ya, yo, dao. Mind power, golden light in this area of the liver. So you're going to visualize golden light, like a golden light ball in this area. And soul power, repeat after me. Dear the soul of my wood element, my liver, the emotion of anger, and all the other elements of the wood element, all the other associations of the wood element, say it like that, I love you. You have the power to heal yourself. Do a great job. Thank you. Close your eyes. You don't need to see me to do this. Visualize the golden light in your liver and we're going to chant together Jiao Ya Yo Dao. Visualizing the light coming into the area, releasing the anger. Jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao. Jiao ya yo dao, 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 jiao ya yo dao. Jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao. One more time. Jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao. Jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao. Hao, hao, hao. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, do you feel a little bit more relaxed, a little bit calmer? Even if you weren't angry, you're probably a little bit more relaxed. So this was self-forgiveness, self-love. Now we can offer uh, forgiveness and love to those outside of us that might have been the trigger for our anger. One of the key teachings is that it is rarely, I, I won't say never, but it is very, very rare that it is not our stuff. Almost always it's our own stuff that triggers. I get upset with my wife but it's my stuff. Early on in our relationship I told her, if I get mad at you, my problem. If you get mad at me, your problem. It sounds the antithesis of, of what we have been trained to, to receive. But we have to understand, if I get mad it hurts because I did not communicate well. I did not um, honor where I was at and share in such a way that it built up 
to me being angry. I should have done a much better job. If I got angry because of something she did, most likely because it's related to this from a year ago, and then this from two relationships ago, and this from what mom and dad told me when I was seven years old. In other words, there's all these built-in triggers that go back to childhood, and then, you know, my wife may do something, I get angry with her, my problem. This is true for every human being. There's truly no excuse for heavy-duty emotions. We're all going to have some on some level, but we must be self-responsible. And we don't have to be psychological gurus to trace it back. We can simply use the power that has been given to us. Tao, Source, knows where the origination of these problems are. Its root is deep. It goes through our lifetime, back to our childhood, back through to our other lifetimes. The roots of any emotion, of any health issue, does not start and stop in this lifetime. It goes through all of them. So it's virtually impossible to deal with the knowingness of the depth of the root and all of its associations. However, when we stop and acknowledge it, do self-forgiveness and offer forgiveness to those on the outside that might be triggering it, we offer them forgiveness because we blame them. We ask for forgiveness because we blame them. We forgive you for triggering. Dear the soul of my boss, please forgive me if I have been unpleasant to you in any lifetime, if I have pushed you down, if I have held you back from being uplifted to a higher position, if I have minimized your skills. It, why do we say it that way? Because that's... If we're angry with the boss, it's probably those things that they're doing to us. The probability of us doing those things to them in a previous time is exceedingly high. Otherwise, why would we be experiencing this? So in the boss example, you can apply this to any part of life. You have uh, someone that, uh, that is a relative and, and are constantly pushing your button in a very specific way. To the soul of my relative, I love you. Please forgive me if I pushed your button in this way at lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. It really sucks. I know it sucks because I'm experiencing a lot from you. And if I caused you to have that kind of discomfort, if I was literally that way towards you in other lifetimes, I deeply, deeply, deeply and sincerely apologize. This is the deep wisdom Master Shah has brought to us. When he talks about doing a deep authentic forgiveness, that's what he's really talking about. So. We must always take self-responsibility for whatever emotion we're going through. And if we have to, it's wise to, to give ourselves self-love, self-forgiveness, and then we can go, okay, now how can I take a better, uh, more widened look at this to transform it? We do our forgiveness practice around that, and then we add the power of the Source and the Tao. These books, the calligraphies, everything that Master Shah has brought to us, truly are extraordinary. Um, everybody that is watching here today has received a divine transmission. Everybody in the, in the world actually has received a divine transmission um, because Master Shah has offered almost 10 of them to all souls. So if you've, if you've ever read one of his books, he puts transmission in his books. Every single soul, mind, body transmission literally is a healing ball. It's a healing light ball. What does that mean? It means it's, it, I want to give you like a two minute definition so you truly grasp the value of what you've received. The monks that sit in the temples and chant for humanity all day, six hours a day, their whole life, what are they doing? They're getting virtue and they're gathering a light ball inside their body. If they did that for an entire year, that light ball would be the size of a rice. The size of a rice. Master Shah says, read my book, download one transmission. We read the black print in bold, say transmission, and we instantly get a light ball the size of a grapefruit. Or at least the size of an apple. Instant. Instantly, instantly, we didn't sit on a mountain and chant. Nothing. We take for granted these, these things that we have. You might have received it for, let's say, love or peace or harmony or 
any number of blessings he's put in these books. But that's not what it's limited to. This is the deeper wisdom. Each one of these transmissions and light balls that we have received, regardless of the condition we received it for, or the label that was on it when we received it, when we actually received it, it carries the frequency of God layer and higher. Now, the frequency of God layer is above Jesus. Do you understand that? Jesus created miracles. So the frequency of God layer is above Jesus and it carries that frequency and it's in your body and all you have to do is turn it on and it can work on anything it can work on anger it can work on blessing your grandma it can bless anything don't square your head they're all my downloads and treasures repeat after me they're all my downloads and treasures I love you please turn on please bless me to transform the condition of anger. Thank you. Let's try a different one. They're all my downloads and treasures. Please turn on. Please bless me to transform my financial blockages. Thank you. Do you see? You see the intelligence? All these treasures carry the divine's frequency of love, light, forgiveness, and compassion. What does that mean? The Divine's love melts everything. That's what we originated from. When we connect with the higher frequencies that are in us and we ask them to turn on, we can apply them to any aspect of our life. That is the deeper wisdom. Let's receive a blessing from the Divine Healing Hands. This book, if you have it, has 20 healing transmissions built into it. If you have used all 20, you can give the book away and it will reset for the next person. When they start reading it, they'll get to a page where it'll turn on again for them. And they'll get 20 new Divine Healing Hands healings. These are extraordinary, extraordinary healings. So I'm going to ask this to turn on. You're going to uh, do the same with all of your transmissions for yourself. And we're going to do a little more healing for this condition. Okay? <clears throat> we can do a forgiveness practice now for all those outside of us that create anger with us. Repeat after me. Dear all souls that I have blamed for triggering any anger that I have experienced in this lifetime and all lifetimes. I wish to deeply and sincerely apologize. I wish to acknowledge that I have blamed you, but I did not take responsibility. That I had these internal triggers. That I may have caused the same suffering to you first. I wish to sincerely apologize. I ask you to offer me your unconditional forgiveness. And if you have harmed me by causing anger, then I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. I love you. Let us do this practice together. Dear the Divine Healing Hands blessing in this book, I love you. Can you please turn on? Can you please offer a Divine Healing Hands blessing to all those on the line today, all those that come on to watch this video in the future, for the condition of anger. Bless them to release the blockages that are inside our own bodies. Bless us to release others and blame others for triggering our own anger. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, we always say, as appropriate. Always say, as appropriate. Very respectful of the Divine Healing Hands and any Divine Healing. Remember what I just taught you. Dear all of my downloads and treasures, please turn on. I love you. Please bless me to release blockages for anger. Thank you. So now we're going to chant Divine Healing Hands 
heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Make sure that one of your hands is on your liver, the other hand on your lower abdomen. Your liver is below your left rib cage. Let us continue. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. Visualizing golden light. Divine healing hands heals and releases my anger. 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 Now you continue to chant silently on your end, visualizing divine healing hand inside your liver, releasing anger, releasing blockages, healing. I will offer a soul reading as to what is happening at this time. At this time, the divines hands are with all of you. In fact, the Divine knows who is watching this video in the future and has already offered them a blessing because there is no such thing as time and space. It is all happening in the now. This blessing is not limited even remotely to the physical liver. The element known as wood permeates every aspect of your Shen, Qi, and Jing. Every speck of energy, every speck of matter carries the five elements, including the wood element. The Divine is offering a blessing to smooth, balance, and release attachments throughout the physical, emotional, and mental bodies. The physical, emotional, and mental bodies literally look like layers outside of your physical body. Like an aura, if you will. And each of these carry some karmic aspects to them. Each of them are aspects of energy and matter, Shen, Qi, and Jing. 
and they carry with them the records of your services. This divine healing hands blessing is unconditionally releasing many of the blockages. There are four of those who have and will receive this blessing who have avoided the potential of liver cancer within the next 15 years. There is one who is receiving a blessing now who has the potential of a stroke and this would be related to great anger and fire that is held often in the heart and mind areas. This soul is receiving extra special blessings to ensure this possibility is dramatically diminished. There are quite a few on this blessing that have unpleasant childhood memories with both mother and father and brothers and sisters, a few with uncle and one with auntie. And these blessings are releasing many of the mindsets and teachings uh, ways of protecting oneself and ways of reacting based on the teachings that those had brought to you in this lifetime. This blessing has extended into your previous lifetimes as a natural occurrence of the blessings in this lifetime. As this blessing continues, your Akashic records for each of you is being adjusted. Literally, darkness is floating off the pages. It is releasing in like letters coming off your pages, floating to the sun, and there it's converting from, from darkness to light. It's just floating off of all of your Akashic records. And light is uh, uh, replacing these areas. There is one that within one week uh, would have had a car accident. The car accident could have caused damage to the neck, which would have created great uh, financial suffering because of the inability to go to work. This would have created a condition of severe depression. Uh, this blessing has saved one of these souls from this suffering. This blessing from this Divine Healing Hands book has been enhanced because of the Master Shaw and his desire for all of his students to purify more that they can be better students. This blessing comes to an end. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Divine Healing Hands. I will bow my head nine times. You can do whatever is comfortable for you. To Divine Tao Source, to Master Sha, Tian Wei Tian Divine, for this incredible Divine Healing Hands blessing. Truly a remarkable Heaven's generosity. So I didn't get a chance to welcome uh, Christine and Kat, Allison, Kayla, Esther, Cynthia, Welcome all of you. Thank you so much for joining. Um, have to finish the live stream pretty soon. Facebook cuts me off at about an hour. So I wanted to uh, ask all of you to comment any of the value that you receive from this blessing from the Divine Healing Hands book. Uh, any of the wisdom from the teaching specifically. This, this was the value to me. Again, my name, not necessary to mention. It's not about me. It's about Master Shaw's teachings. It's about the value of how those served you, how you can apply it in your life. Because as others see those words, then maybe they'll watch and get that wisdom to, say, to, to serve their life and save their life. Maybe they'll watch it to the end and receive the Divine Healing Hands blessing. It's a huge blessing. Remember, every transmission in your body can bring healing regardless of the condition. All of Master Shah's books carry healing power. Pick them up and go to the bold print areas, read those and receive the Soul Mind Body transmissions. You literally would receive something that the, the saints in heaven have never received. They have been here 
how, how many lifetimes? Who knows? To, to be a saint level, at least a thousand lifetimes, probably 10,000, 100,000 lifetimes to be at the saint levels. They have not received the things that are in Master Shah's books that we can receive for free just by reading the bold print. And then turn them on and apply them to clear the blockages. In a nutshell, stop yourself from getting more angry. Offer self-forgiveness, self-love. Give forgiveness and love outside of you. Turn on your treasures and grab any external books or CDs or anything that can assist you. Chant, chant, chant. It doesn't matter what it is you chant as long as it carries the high frequency. Love, peace, harmony. Divine treasures heal me. Master Shah. Tao. Anything that carries a higher frequency is a beautiful thing to chant. Do it long enough to cause a result. And then start again the next time the anger shows up. It's a process of releasing the layers. So I'm very honored for this opportunity to share this deep wisdom Master Shah has brought to us. Tomorrow we are going to focus on depression and anxiety. I'm going to offer additional teachings and wisdoms. We will continue to offer blessings. Uh, please let others know about this. You can receive blessings for these through so many different ways. No need to suffer. There are many different uh, divine services that can dramatically impact you. So let me know if that's anything that you would like to receive. I'm always available to serve. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to serve you all. Love you, love you, love you. Please hit the share button after this. Let everybody know the value you've received. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.